Most of the 55 passengers who died at Manchester were killed by toxic fumes before the fire entered the cabin. Had they been given smoke hoods to protect them from the fumes, more might have survived. Now, the first essential of a smoke hood is that it shall not burn. And secondly, since it's made of a plastic-type material, it mustn't shrink onto the wearer's head when the passes through the flame. Now, you'll see this hood here. Hot, but not burning. In a smoke-filled environment, the hood must be easy to put on and it must not restrict visibility. It must effectively filter out poisonous fumes, but let the remaining clean air in so the wearer can still breathe. In an aircraft fire such as what occurred in Manchester, smoke rapidly fills the cabin so that you can't see and you can't breathe. The visible smoke is made of small particles of ash and burnt material which drift in the air. Smoke can be collected in a chamber. Through a microscope, particles of carbon can be seen glinting in the light. If breathed in, hot smoke particles are highly dangerous. Now we can draw those out. And here in this chamber we're doing that by a fan pulling the air through filters. The filters comprise of this paper material here, which takes out all the visible particulate matter. But what we're left with now are the invisible gases, which are the highly toxic ones, such as hydrogen and cyanide and carbon monoxide. In the second layer in the filter, you will see charcoal. The charcoal is like a sponge with minute holes in it, and the toxic gases are absorbed by the charcoal. However, the carbon monoxide cannot be absorbed by that, and we have to put a third layer in, which is a catalytic converter. And this catalytic converter acts in a chemical way and converts the carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. Carbon monoxide is a colorless gas which burns with a blue flame. It is extremely poisonous. Carbon dioxide is far less toxic and can be detected because it turns lime water milky. Carbon monoxide has no effect on lime water. Oxygen is needed to convert carbon monoxide to carbon dioxide. Unfortunately for the smoke hood designer, if oxygen and carbon monoxide are simply mixed, they do not combine and carbon dioxide is not produced. The lime water does not change. If the two gases are passed over a catalyst, a reaction occurs and the gases combine to form carbon dioxide. The lime water turns milky. That, however, creates another problem. It produces a very enormous amount of heat and it changes the inhaled air which has now been cleaned to a temperature in excess of the boiling point of water. So we now have to put in the base of the filter a cooler to cool the air down to a, a temperature which you can safely breathe. The fitting of smoke hoods does appear to be an easy solution, but it is not the right answer. In an aircraft emergency on the ground, the important thing is to get the passengers out of that aircraft as soon as possible. If smoke hoods were provided, passengers would have to don those smoke hoods before they commence the evacuation. From our analysis, that delay in evacuation will cost lives. At the present time, we believe that providing smoke hoods in an aircraft will cause more deaths than it will save. In the Manchester air crash, the vast majority of those victims lost their lives, not to do with the burns or the fire, but because they inhaled this thick, toxic smoke. And smoke hoods could have saved the majority of those lives. And this is something that can be brought in now relatively cheaply. You don't have to make any changes to the aircraft at all. And you can start saving lives now. Despite concerns over safety in the event of a crash, you are very unlikely to be involved in an accident when flying. Statistically, you are at greater risk crossing the road.